so I talked about this briefly quite a while ago now when I worked on the Atari 2600 and uh, the 5200 tutorials. It was the 2600, the 7800, the Lynx and the Jaguar, and then 5200 came off a little bit later. And, and I, I think I mostly said in those tutorials, once we get pre-NES, I start to get a little bit lost. And especially when we when we get to other PCs that were not DOS, I also start to get lost. And so today, an Unbroken Software Studio tutorials, out of a sheer willpower for wanting to familiarize myself with some of the older systems, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the ColecoVision up and running in LaunchBox. So like I said, this is a console that I am not quite familiar with. This is definitely in the heyday of the Atari age. And uh, so it, my knowledge really comes from NES Master System onward, and TurboGrafx-16 onward. So let's dig on into it, shall we? So let's go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. We're gonna click on Next. Add files, and we're going to navigate to where I have my ColecoVision games uh, downloaded. And since I have all of these files in here, uh, no extra save files, I'm going to click on a game, Control A to highlight them all. We're going to click Open. Then we're going to click Next, Platform for Imported ROMs. We're going to click the drop down menu. We're going to scroll down to ColecoVision. We're going to select it from the list, then Next where it says choose an emulator. It shows MAME uh, now. So I've kind of had this epiphany with myself. Um, I do like MESS standalone, but MESS standalone is slowly starting to disappear. The only MESS builds that I've been able to find for the last several MESS versions is MESS UI. And MESS UI is not bad. MESS UI is pretty good, uh, but I don't particularly want to use it. So I've thought to myself, maybe I should teach how to use MAME instead, as it is all still the same uh, whether you're using MESS standalone or MAME, just MAME also has much more uh, capabilities in terms of arcade, and it eliminates a couple of extra steps. However, we can't call our emulator MAME, otherwise that will triple launch box into bringing up the arcade importer. And since we're not playing arcade games, we're going to need to add a new emulator, and we're going to type in MAME, but then I'm going to put in brackets mess so that way i know that it's mame but it's we're you know this entry of our new emulator is for mess and so that this doesn't trip the uh, mame importer in a couple of screens we're going to click browse for the emulator so i'm going to navigate to my mame folder i have mame dot 181B downloaded, and you can get this from the MAME website. You get a 7-zip installer, you double click on the 7-zip installer, you choose the location where to put it, and then that's this location here. I'm going to select MAME64.exe, and then in the default command line parameters box, we're going to type in dash skip underscore game info space dash no window and then i'm also going to check the box attempt to hide console window on startup shut down then i'm also going to go to the associated platforms page and now we're going to treat it like we normally would have mess so i want to double click on an empty uh spot and i'm going to type in ColecoVision. a couple screens back we chose the uh platform from the drop down list uh, so this needs to match the same name that you used on that screen. If you used a custom platform and then used the Scrape As feature on that screen, use the original name you chose, not the Scrape As uh, name. So use the name that you chose for your system. And then we're going to double click on the default command line parameters box. We're going to type in Coleco space dash cart. And what this is saying to MAME is to load the Coleco BIOS and then we are using a specific file extension. And so in this case, .col is under dash cart. So we're gonna check the default emulator box and then we're gonna press okay. Once you have MAME mess in your choose emulator box, we're gonna click next, use the files in their current location. I'm gonna keep the box for the LaunchBox games database checked. I'm not gonna be using the Wikipedia box that can cause some issues. It's usable later, 
if you're editing a game and you would like to try and use some of the Wikipedia information, but it can cause issues during import. I'm going to keep all of these boxes selected. We're going to click next. It's going to log you into Emu Movies. I'm going to keep all of these boxes selected and then I'm going to click next again. Hmm. So the reason why I said to name it MAME mess was so that it didn't trip the uh, MAME importer, but having MAME in the title appears to be tripping the importer anyways. So I went back a couple of screens, changed the emulator name to mess. So we're going to click OK. Now it's going to just be called mess. Uh, there is a back button here, so I'm going to click next, use the files in their current location, all the boxes. Aha! Okay, now this box is showing up here, force using main metadata, which means that LaunchBox is not trying to automatically use it. So, apparently, I can't use MAME with brackets mess. I'm learning something new on the tutorial myself, which is awkward. But anyways, then we're going to click next. It's going to parse our list. We can either rename a game here if we would like by double clicking, or we can click on a game and press delete to remove it from the list and it will not be imported at this time. Once we have that set, we're going to go ahead and click finish. So when it comes to MAME and MESS, uh, before I was telling you guys um, how to add your MAME ROMs into MESS by changing some of the lines of the INI, but now you don't need to do that. So in your main folder, there's a ROMs folder. In that ROMs folder, you're going to drop all of your main ROMs and all of your main CHDs. All of the mess bios that you need are included in a main ROM pack. So I get the split main ROM pack. I got the 181 ROM pack from a specific Domish website. And it's fantastic. So in this pack, I have the Coleco.zip file, and that is the BIOS we called during the import process. So as long as this Coleco.zip file is in your main ROMs folder, that's realistically all the extra setup that you need to do. We already added the emulator to our list, which is just adding MAME as a duplicate emulator, but just calling it mess because apparently um, even if you have MAME anywhere in the title, it automatically triggers the MAME import process. We set the command line parameter and we have the BIOS in the proper location. So now with that set, let's go back into LaunchBox. I'm going to right click a game and I'm going to open mess. Now yours might open in full screen. I personally prefer mine to open in a window. So we're going to go to configure options, video options. And so I've set it to windows mode on. I've also enabled triple buffering HLSO. I've also enabled enforce aspect ratio, start maximized and wait for VSync. I've also set the video mode to open GL. I like open GL. It doesn't give it much of a blur. I did try uh, GDI and D3D, but I had a kind of like a blur or other things going on. OpenGL gave me personally a crisp, clean look that I preferred. Uh, so that's what I like to do. So these are my video options. If you would like to set them the same way that I do, if you would like to set them the same way that I do just in full screen, make sure windows mode says off instead, and then return to the previous menu, save your configuration. And you can, you do this with your mouse or your keyboard. And so once you've set that up, go ahead and just press escape and it will close out of MAME. So now that we've got everything set up, let's go ahead and launch a game. You're going to get this menu. Just go ahead and press enter. Once the game loads, I'm going to go ahead and press tab. I'm going to go down to input this machine. So this should be the input options uh, for just the ColecoVision portion of MAME. Uh, and then we have the player uh, one up, player one down, left, right, player one button, one button two. Uh, and then player two. So this is where you would set your buttons. So by default, it's using control and alt. Uh, you can also set this to a controller. So if you have a controller selected, um, just go ahead and press enter and then press the button that you would like to change it to either on your keyboard or on your controller on your keyboard, whatever have you. So I'm gonna go back, back. And there we go. That's working sort of there we go <laughs> there we go we've got ColecoVision running in a main in launch box 
Uh, so the controls might be a little bit more confusing, so you may need to go through that screen a little bit more than I did. Uh, I just showed you how to quickly change the default buttons to something that you would like either on your controller or on your keyboard. Uh, but there you go, guys. That is how you get something like the ColecoVision up and running in MAME mess with LaunchBox. My name is Brad, and if this tutorial helped you guys out at all, then please subscribe to us for more videos and content like this in the future. Also, leave us a thumbs up if it helped you get your LaunchBox library looking a little bit more beautiful. If you guys have any questions about anything that I covered in this tutorial, uh, MAME and MESS is a little bit more confusing than the average emulator. Uh, so some of the steps may be a little more confusing. So if you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave them in the comment section below or head on over to the forums and leave your questions there. In the description below is also a link to the mess resources that I use to figure out what BIOS uh, each system is using and for what commands to use where. As well, if you are a Patreon producer over at our Patreon page, then your name is now scrolling up on screen. If you'd like to get your name there and inside of LaunchBox as a producer, then head on over to the Patreon link in the description below. At just $2 a month, you start to get early access to videos and certain things from James and Jason and from myself. At higher tiers, you start to unlock private Discord server access and the producer level credits. My channel is also in the links below. I do lots of gaming content, so if that sounds like a cup of tea, then head on over there and check me out if you would like. Remember, freaks and geeks, to play more games, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day!